So, before this episode of BlastCast, I would like to talk about the fact that Bethesda re-released the old Doom games and put DRM in them. Okay, so the the thing that gets me the most, okay, Bethesda, if you're watching, listen carefully. If I want to get a free copy of Doom, I will be getting a free copy of Doom. And yes, I'll have to go through some loopholes to play that on my Switch, but it's not impossible, and that DRM is fucking useless. There you go. I said it. Anyway, today we're talking about uh, the Netflix show for The Witcher. And before anyone throws a fit that it's not entirely game related, I do talk about the game in this episode as well as some other video game related stuff. So it counts, I think. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, if it's good, I'll do more topics that aren't gaming related entirely. And if it's bad, this will probably just be a one shot then. So there we go. Uh, Yeah, enjoy. So, recently the Witcher trailer dropped online, and it honestly looks pretty great. I was iffy on Henry Cavill being Geralt, but ultimately with the full makeup and a new wig, he pulls it off rather nicely. This wasn't what the internet focused on, however, because the interwebs always have to go to this weird place where everyone is angry. The conversation has been steady around the casting of an African American actress for the part of Triss Marigold, which honestly doesn't bother me at all. If she's qualified and can bring the character to life, I don't really care what skin color you got. Of course, it would be nice to follow the characters to a T. Would it have been better to cast someone from Tibet as the Ancient One? Sure, even though I thought Tilda Swinton did a wonderful job with the character. Should a Japanese person have played Makoto in the Ghost in the Shell movie? Maybe. There are plenty of wonderful Asian actresses such as Lucy Liu and Karen Fukuhara. But The Witcher seems particularly special right now simply because it's the current topic of discussion. When it comes to the sensitive topic of race and especially adaptations of beloved franchises, there is always bound to be a very small but very vocal minority of people who will always throw a fit. So, does it matter that Triss Marigold is black in The Witcher show on Netflix? I would say no. Before we even talk about the show, we need to clarify two things right away. One. The books are not the games, and two, the games do not represent the books accurately either. The games actually canonically take place several years after the books. The games don't follow the books at all save for a few characters that appear in the stories. Geralt, Dudu, Yennefer, Ciri, etc, etc. It's even more interesting when you consider the author of the Witcher books, Andres Sapkowski, says the games aren't even related to the books at all. Sapkowski is also helping to write the show to a minor degree, and the showrunners have said that the show will follow the books more so than the games. Which, to be honest, makes sense. The games already have their own story and their own identity because CD Projekt Red crafted them beautifully. Uh, despite the fact that they worked their staff to death and they should really quit fucking doing that, seriously. However, I digress to my next point. Triss's skin color is never mentioned in the books. I know this one might be hard to believe, but it's absolutely true. In the books, Triss is originally described as Triss Marigold, chestnut hair, cheerful, ready to burst into laughter for no reason at all, like a child. It wasn't until the games that Triss actually got a character design. And even then, Wild Hunt Triss and Witcher 1 Triss don't look alike. I know this because of the, um, uh, <coughs> sex cards from the game. This is the picture of Triss in The Witcher 1 game, and this is the picture of Triss from The Witcher 3. Do you guys by chance notice anything? Her hair color in the games doesn't even match up to her hair color in the games. Apparently, Chestnut is the same color as Red, but hey, it's all about staying true to the original or some other pointless argument like that. Oh, also, in the book, she has a burn on her chest, and well, in the game, she, uh, <coughs> mm, uh, doesn't. Something that isn't ever explained, because, once again, the games don't follow the books. 
One more point that is also worth making is that in the stories, Triss plays a significantly diminished role. Basically, CD Projekt Red played her up big time and ultimately ran with her character design. Which, whatever, that doesn't really matter either. And I say that because of one very important detail everyone seems to be missing. The way Triss looks doesn't matter because she's not real. She's a fictional character. It doesn't matter if you think she's blue. Her skin color isn't important to her character at all. She apparently wasn't even important enough to give a skin color to in the actual books. I mean, look at her profile on the Witcher Wiki. It doesn't even mention one. Yennefer gets a skin color, so does Geralt. But Triss, not so much. According to the very vocal, very angry minority online, however, you need to stick to the original character no matter what, even if the original character description literally mentions nothing about her. And the character even changes looks-wise in the games, the games that don't actually even follow the books. It's literally the dumbest hissy fit ever. I would absolutely care more about skin color were the story about a historical figure. You can't tell Gandhi's story if you make him from Texas. You can't tell Martin Luther King's story if you make him Asian. And you certainly will find it hard to tell John F. Kennedy's story if he were Latino. But for a fictional character, who cares? Certainly not Andrzej Sepkowski. And briefly, let me just pause here for a moment and apologize if I am butchering these names. Much sorry. Sapkowski apparently straight up told the executive producer Lauren S. Hisrich, eh? The continent is big and diverse in its population in every way. Race, culture, gender, and yes, occasionally skin color, which he said he did not always specify. Also, can we just for a moment find the irony in talking about this topic in the universe of The Witcher? The same universe with ethnic cleansing of non-humans? The same story that clearly demonizes racism? I mean, hell, the main character, Geralt, is on the receiving end of straight-up xenophobia wherever he goes. And yet, here we are complaining a character isn't white. I don't know about you, but that is some advanced levels of stupid. That's even ignoring the fact people are freaking out about a character's skin color in a world where people literally shoot fire out of their fucking hands. All the weird and cool improbable shit that doesn't make any sense and you're baffled by what color a character is. Bravo, you! Not pathetic or weird at all. Then again, let's be honest that the same people who are complaining about this incredibly tiny thing are the same guys who got bent out of shape over killing Nazis in Wolfenstein. Oh, by the way, I'm not even joking about that one. People seriously got mad at Bethesda for releasing a game where you kill Nazis in a franchise where the goal is killing Nazis. Apparently, killing Nazis in a game specifically surrounded around killing Nazis is the same as teaming up with SJWs and Antifa. Oh, and this wasn't even the first time. Let's take a stroll back to when people threw a hissy fit over a black man being featured on the cover of Battlefield 1. Even though there is a story in the game that focuses solely on the Harlem Hellfighters, which consisted mainly of African Americans. What I'm trying to say is, these people will literally get mad no matter what. They will always find something to complain about, so at the end of the day, they don't matter. It can go in the opposite direction as well, as apparently some people on the web think Mulan should be played by a black person. Uh, even though Mulan's Asian ethnicity is directly tied to the story and her identity as a character, which uh, doesn't make any sense. I could literally recite the entire argument I just made back to someone who is mad about this, and they would literally not care. It doesn't matter that the books don't mention Triss's skin color. It doesn't matter that the games don't follow the books. It doesn't matter that the games change the look of Triss in between games. It doesn't matter that the game leaves out defining characteristics of a character from the book. It doesn't matter that Triss isn't a real person. It doesn't matter that Triss's skin color isn't important to the character. It doesn't even matter that the creator of the fucking character doesn't care care, because Triss isn't white and apparently that's the end of the world. And instead of just ignoring it like a sane, normal human being, they're going to bitch and piss and moan about something they don't own, produce, or affect, not specifically catering to what they personally want. Boo. Fucking. Who. Get over it.